Battlefield 2042 will be released without a campaign as confirmed by DICE, but will introduce and expand an evolving story in its multiplayer. They're taking a new approach to live surface for a Battlefield game where players will be given the surfaces and evolution they have come to expect from modern multiplayer games, all aimed at keeping the community playing together for years to come, including the story. And as you all know, I like to cover the stories of games on this channel. In 2042, extreme weather events and resource conflicts have shifted the balance of global power. The United States and Russia stand at the brink of war while a mix of non-patriated combat veterans form independent groups known as task forces. The setting, lore and story immerse you into the world of Battlefield 2042 even more. In this video, I'm taking a look at the story of Battlefield 2042, the story of the specialists and the story behind the maps. Ten years is all it took to bring the world to the brink. Rising sea levels, collapsing economies, broken alliances and the headlines keep rolling in. October 9, 2033. Hurricane Zeta, world's first category 6 storm. January 11, 2034. Global food, fuel shortages spark second Great Depression. August 8, 2035. European Union officially disbands following Germany's collapse. Left behind, the displaced band together into ragtag fleets in search of a safe harbor. They are families, farmers, doctors, engineers and soldiers. The ones privileged and the impoverished with backgrounds that are worlds apart, forced together, determined to survive. The media calls them the non-patriated. They call themselves no pets. Humanity adapts to the new normal. Revolutions in energy, desert irrigation, hydraulic levees, and seawalls save coastal cities, reclaim farmland and rebuild supply chains. Hope of finding stability leads to some nations reopening their borders. However, with no way to repatriate 1.2 billion people, no paths became a permanent fixture in all economic, military and social policy making. Many NOPADs are still distrustful of the governments that exiled them and refuse calls to reassimilate. NOPAD leaders emerge, inspiring a new identity unbound to a former nationality, drawing a line in the sand between the old world and the new normal. Hashtag we are NOPADs becomes a rallying cry. Amidst the world building, sparks of friction erupt between the US and Russia, as the last two superpowers both vie for control of this fast changing world. A sudden space debris storm creates a Kessler effect, causing over 70% of all orbiting satellites to malfunction and crash to Earth. The cause is unknown. The subsequent blackout causes mass devastation. Planes crash. Communication grids collapse. Already jammed global supply chains come to a standstill. Prices of oil, grain and coal skyrocket exponentially. Unsubstantiated claims report over 100,000 lives are lost. A world on the brink goes over the edge. No internet, no navigation, no surveillance, no storm forecasts. Geopolitical distrust surges overnight. No one can spy on each other, so no one can trust each other. Both Russia and the US claim the other is responsible for the blackout, while some suspect no pets were behind it and accuse them of trying to sow anarchy. Former military and combat trained specialists amongst the no pets rise up into armed task forces to defend themselves as tensions rise. A food and fuel shortage ignites a shadow war between the US and Russia. To maintain plausible deniability, both sides field NOPAD task forces as proxies in escalating conflicts over resources, promising the refugees a piece of what's left. Open war is imminent. NOPADs have no choice but to choose sides, fighting not for a flag but for their future. Their war is our story. Playing as the Nopez, you can choose from one of five specialists, each with unique abilities and a unique backstory. Webster McKay, Maria Falk, Piotr Boris Guskowski, Wykes Kasper van Dalen, and an unknown specialist. An ex-military lone wolf survivalist, McKay is an ass kicker with a conscience. This Canadian-born assault soldier fights for the non-patriated to make right a regret from his military days. His gadget is the grappling hook, which fires a rope that attaches to surfaces, when attached, the rope is retracted and the player gets pulled towards the attach point. His unique ability, Nimble, allows him to move more quickly while aiming down the sides, further enhancing his speed-related advantages. 
A veteran support, Maria Falk has a strong will that cannot be shaken by danger, fear or rank. The skilled medic's primary motivation is to find her son David among the non-patriated groups spread across the world. Her gadget, the Syrette pistol, fires a syringe at friendlies to provide healing. If fired at an enemy, the syringe will do damage. Her unique ability, Combat Surgeon, allows the player to return downed allies to combat with full health when reviving. Self-motivated and self-fulfilling, Boris seeks to acquire power and control in a chaotic world. The Russian-born engineer is a very experienced weapons expert on the task force, although his true attachment to the team is suspect. His gadget, the SG-36 sentry system, automatically spots and engages enemy targets detected within a certain range. His unique ability, sentry operator, spots the enemy target when the sentry gun locks onto the enemy in question. Recon soldier Wykus is a loner and the unflappable calm presence on the task force. An introvert, Wykus does not make acquaintances easily, but his determination to fight for a better world is rock solid. His gadget, the OVP recon drone, spots nearby moving targets and can disorient enemies by using EMP blasts. It can also be used to designate targets for lock-on weapons and his unique ability movement sensor alerts the player to approaching enemies, both while boots on the ground and when piloting the recon drone. These notepads will clash on the battlefield in at least seven maps that are located around the world. Orbital, Hourglass, Kaleidoscope, Manifest, Discarded, Breakaway and Renewal. Orbital is located in Kuru, French Guiana. It's a race against time and hostile conditions as you fight around the site of an imminent rocket launch. Watch out for both enemy fire and upcoming storms on this dynamic map. Our glass is located in Doha, Qatar. Fight in a city lost to the desertification around it. Massive dust and sandstorms are constantly rolling in, blotting out natural light as you battle for control of a convoy trapped in the shifting sands. Kaleidoscope is located in Songdo, South Korea. In a state-of-the-art metropolis in South Korea, zip line between the skyscrapers and fight among the plazas surrounding the city's iconic data center. Manifest is located on Brani Island, Singapore. Watch out for tropical tornadoes and navigate through maze-like cargo containers in this key trade location, vital to American supply lines. Discarded is located in Alang, India. Along a strategic section of India's west coast, colossal ships stranded on the beach are being stripped for parts. Fight among the hulls of these behemoths while adapting to deadly storms. Breakaway is located in Queen Maudland, Antarctica. Thread carefully on this dynamic map where oil extraction has turned the freezing area to a strategic hotspot. Take advantage of destructible fuel tanks and silos that create debris fields and permanent fires when destroyed. Renewal is located in an eastern desert, Egypt. A giant wall built to secure rich, man-made agricultural areas takes center stage on this intense map. Prepare for the extreme conditions, deploy and secure the access points and massive gates in the wall. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content I create and want to support me, I would kindly ask you to like or dislike the video, leave a comment with your thoughts and subscribe to stay up to date on the video content I create. Those interested in going the extra mile can join the channel and become a member for one, two, five or ten dollars. Other than badges and emojis and a thank you at the end of every video, members will have early access to uploads of short films, extended lore and documentaries in addition to the team packs for games like The Division. For more information, check the iCard in the top right corner. With that, I want to thank We Are Ninja, Sean Isom, Jack Bonney, Sal Martinez, Karsten Block, V Sparky, Nervous Wrecked, Khalil Cheeks, and Nathaniel Stevenson for being Tier 1 members. You guys are amazing. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.